Now to concerns over a possible serial arsonist operating in Durham region. Flames tore through a Pickering townhouse in what investigators call a suspicious blaze. CTV's Janice Golding is live at the scene. Janice, this is not a first in the area. No, it isn't, Zoraida. In fact, the last suspicious fire took place on February 28th, and it was within walking distance of here. In that fire, three townhomes were also affected, just as is the case here. So as you can imagine, area residents are quite concerned. It caught on to the other house. Flames shoot from the roof of this home on Alwyn Circle, the blaze completely engulfing a Pickering townhome. It was around 2.30, and my brother was awake at the time, and he heard a very huge explosion, so he kind of woke up the household. And then he woke me up, and when I looked out the window, this whole thing was in flames. Very scared because we smelled the smoke over here. My son heard an explosion around oh, really? um, 236. Jack Stanley, who lives across the street, says he saw flames, so he ground his kitchen fire extinguisher and ran to help. It was going up the side, so I thought, do I have time to kick the door? or kick the door in and run in and, and, you know, tell them to get out before it breaches the walls. Thankfully, the occupants were already in the backyard and had called 911 about a porch fire. The homeowner uh, thought it was raining out. He heard kind of some noises on the outside of his windows, and it was really just the crackling of the fire. No one was injured, but firefighters are calling the blaze suspicious. When I ran over there, just the way it looked, it didn't make any sense to how that fire started. It was outside the building. And neighbors say they're very concerned. Just last month, there was another suspicious blaze that destroyed three townhomes on Valley Farm Road, which is just 1.5 kilometers away. They fear a fire bug is on the loose. My house might be next. You were that concerned? Yeah. I hope they catch whoever it is. Yeah. That's all there is to it. It's horrible. It's actually scary to know this is going on and it could be suspicious. And you got to take necessary precautions now. Well, it's a very sick individual, isn't it? Because really they're potentially murderers. Because when they set your house on fire, you're asleep, you're vulnerable, you're, you're most vulnerable. And it could have went the other way. It could have breached the, the walls and, and they would have just died from, from smoke inhalation. The Ontario Fire Marshal is now investigating. Now, firefighters say the home had working smoke detectors. However, given the fire started outside, it took quite some time before the residents were alerted to the fact that there was a blaze taking place. They're asking anyone who may have any information about this fire to contact Durham Regional Police. Reporting live, I'm Janice Golding. Now back to Ken. Thank you, Janice.